Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. So today I have this video which is pretty similar to the previous video that I made. But uh, some of you are really curious about how, how I um, managed to create the waves on my resin. Uh, so this is kind of showing you the second time how I did it. So most of the part which are like literally mimicking the previous one i'm going to go really fast and just in case you have already watched that video uh you don't have to watch the, this part you can just fast forward and move on to the part that you have not seen before so i apologize if it's a repetition for you uh, otherwise you can watch the whole thing together and it's not a long video so as you can see here that how i painted my base and then i created this thin layer of resin uh kind of like a fabric of uh, actually that was my thought process was at that point so this is how i created my resin and you can see i use beautiful colors i'm really excited to explore this technique a lot more because i think it has a lot of potential especially if we can somehow um use this to enhance our uh, acrylic pouring i think it will be really nice so anyhow so up to this point you have already seen if you have seen the previous video and from here you'll see that i will split the resin into two parts and one of them will i will be using for today's uh, piece those of you who have not watched my previous video you can see that i'm cutting my thin resin layer because it's been only four hours and it's still very soft i can cut it i can bend it uh, so i'm just using this opportunity because it will eventually harden and it's going to retain the shape it was and it will literally look like a glass or it will retain the shape of whatever the shape i give it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to play around with the uh, resin layer and see how I can create a beautiful composition. better so what I'm doing is I'm taping it to the side now I this time I'm not folding it to the side I would try to do something here This side it is going to remain as folded like this so I'm just going to use gentle attachment now let's see what I'm gonna do on this middle I have some tape ready for me to go I just want to create some some drama, some effect, I don't know. I really like the rugged edge, so I'm going to keep them. And a couple of things as I'm folding, I'm making sure that I don't 
make the fold as sharp that the uh, the resin will uh, break down as it dries because it happens sometimes like it cracks so i have to make sure that i don't fold it as much yet i can create some kind of 3d composition so again you are actually observing how i am evolving with this technique and I, how i can incorporate in my future art uh, resin and uh, acrylic pouring both of them at the same time so bear with me and uh, i just want to share my journey with you how about i tip it here i think i like that more So I have this little wave here and some um, some carves. I will let it dry and let's see how much crack I get because yesterday I got some crack. As I was trying to fold, you can see that I got some crack here and I got some crack here as it was drying probably because it was thicker than this one i don't know if it's going to give me that too to, again it's an experiment we'll figure it out so i will let it dry and come back later so after three or four days i took off the tape and i could see that i could literally take it off and see uh, it this uh, resin um layer thing has dried off and it's really nice and um like i could take it off so what i was thinking i'm going to do something interesting here when i'm talking about interesting actually i'm thinking that i am going to use the tri art crackle ground and see if i can create some crackles here it will give you a very uh, give us a very nice texture and from there we'll see what can we do or how does it turn out and figure out what to do uh, with this my thought process is The crackle effect gives a very rugged look and this is very fine, smooth look. So they will complement each other very well as a contrasting piece with each other. So let's see how it will turn out. I really enjoyed the combination between the smoothness and the shimmer of the resin and the crackle ground effect from tri art by the way the crackle uh, ground you can buy from fluid art company they are selling it now and honestly the texture that you get is so pretty so i'm going to keep on doing the same thing on this one as well because i am liking it so much and uh, you'll see on this one it turned out so pretty this tri art company crackle ground is very simple to use i have tried a different companies before but i was not like this is really the best one i would say in the market and um, as you can see i'm just making sure that i have a um, little bit thicker layer of um, the crackle ground on my surface and making sure that it's uh, pretty smooth everywhere and then i will let it dry and that will give me the crackle so as i said that um oh also one more thing you must make sure that before you use it you have to shake it really well 
because you need to mix the sediment it it goes on on the bottom of the bottle so make sure you shake it very well so i'm stretching it as much as possible because i want thin layer so i'm gonna put we are a little tight here so i'm going to i just put some more so i can spread nice and evenly Okay, so this is my crack oh ground layer of crackle gown. Then now what I'm thinking, I'm going to paint it black so the gold will really be showing off through the black. Hopefully it works. You know what I mean? Sometimes we come up with this ridiculous ideas but which doesn't work. That would be a sad time because So let's see. Today I'm going to use acrylic spray and I'm shaking my bottle very well. The green color that I used on my previous video, that was enamel paint, which when I was applying, I could see some imperfections as it mixed with the uh, crackle ground, but the acrylic looks very smooth and simple. Let's see how it dries. So now, I have this all dried and ready to go. Look at the finish. It's so pretty. I, I hope the camera can pick up the shine because the gold underneath is showing through. And the texture that I have is so beautiful. So I am going to keep it as is. I'm not going to use any varnish or anything on this one because I want it to be matte finish. Why? this is why voila see the shimmer and the shine on this one and the matteness of this one it creates such a beauty beautiful combination so let me see if i can okay what i'm gonna do is first i'm going to use glue stick to glue this piece on top of the uh, black surface i know that this is touching the side this is where the piece is touching the surface and also this is where the piece is touching the surface also some here so i'm going to use glue stick to make sure that i have good contact I will let it dry then I come back in maybe 15 minutes so I'm back again so it's stuck here here and this area now what I'm gonna do is I want it to touch this piece to the wooden uh, panel so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tape it here before I do that I'm going to put some glue here so it will stay like that then
Now it's going to dry. And I will let it stay like this. Thank you so much guys for joining me today and let me know what do you think and what direction should I take because what am I going to do with this is completely unknown to me. I am figuring out as I go but I'm sure I'm going somewhere. I don't yet know exactly where. So thank you again and I feel like it's a privilege for me to share my journey with you and you are so patient and kind to follow along with me so um until next time bye